3 billion data records, including social security numbers, addresses, people's important information were hacked. How can people protect themselves and what should Americans be doing right now? Listen, this is going to be a reoccurring event over and over. And it's the same, whether it's Social Security Administration, whether it's your credit card company, whether it's your cable company, doesn't matter. There's certain things you should do each and every time. And you should really do it consistently, just like you go to the doctor for a checkup. So the government provides the consumer to get a free credit report every year. The website is annualcreditreport.com. And it's a terrific site. It's easy. There's no cost. And you should pull that to make sure your credit has not been compromised. That's the first thing. The second thing is, if you get notification that your passwords have been changed or your credit has been compromised, you need to go in and change your passwords because on the dark web, they have a lot of data out there. They got your name, they got your social security number, they have passwords that you've used in the past. So change all your passwords. Also use multi-authentication where they send you a text and you acknowledge the text. Two-step authentication. Yes. If you have been compromised, you may want to do what's called a credit freeze, but you have to individually contact all three of the major credit bureaus, which is TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, and ask to put a credit freeze on your credit profile. That stops anybody from taking out new lines of credit. You can take it off mm -hmm. very easily and then put it back on. And if you're starting to get contacted by weird bills, just be careful. And until next time.